Hi, this is not going to be a fancy review, but I wanted to quickly go over this brand. Uh, there's different ways of pronouncing it, Leica, Luca, Leaky, however you want to pronounce it, I've heard different ways. I still have yet to verify how it is pronounced in each Nordic country. Anyways, here's the case. Absolutely gorgeous. I love that there's pockets and even this comes undone. I love that. I've heard from another review that maybe this is for like uh, patterns or something. I'm not sure. I can see what she meant by that, which is really neat. I love the zipper. I love the colors. It's just my vibe, my personality. Okay, and then here's one that I have ready to go that I tried out. And then I'm going to show you some bamboo ones as comparison. And then I wanted to also compare the metals to the copper. So since this is just like a whatever video, it's not like going to be organized. So I might go through things kind of a little bit all over the place. In the future, I will consider like formatting the videos, but I really just wanted to get a start and just to like break the ice. So this is a US, oh, it's so hard to read. I forgot what it is. A US size nine, 5.5 millimeter. It's really hard to see the packaging comes like this and it will tell you. However, once you take the packaging off, you have to really get your glasses or have really good eyesight. I can still see it, it's no problem but I have to really like look at it closely. So it is somewhat of a problem to look at it like easily, but I have to really like put it towards the light. Where is it? Okay, moving on. So I'll tell you what I don't like about it first cause that's on my mind. The cord, unfortunately for me, feels like it's cheap. Maybe it's not but it just feels like a whatever cord. It doesn't feel like anything special at all. Um, for my liking, it just, it feels too flimsy. I don't like how light and flimsy it is. I feel like if I do bend it like quickly and forcefully by accident or something like I step on it in a weird angle, it might crack, like it might just pop or make a ugly dent and it just won't be as effective and then we'll compare this to like a standard bamboo cord you see how this it's hollow and the it's thicker but it's still hollow like airy it's bouncy it's um Bendable, I can even do this. I've done this many times where and I didn't notice it was doing that when I was making like a a hood slash balaclava and it just went back to its normal shape. Even if it made a dent, it will go back with use and wear and heat and the warmth of my fingers, etc. Um, but I also wanted to get away from like plastic and I wanted to try something more solid. So this does feel solid. But it just feels so thin. Maybe that's the standard and maybe that's what people prefer. I'm not sure since I'm like a advanced beginner. But for my preference, it just didn't... I think uh, since I, I really like natural things, so it's just something that I wish to... Maybe I can make my own in the future, like something out of a uh, leather cord or um, something mixed with rubber like something that just feels stronger, heavier, more reliable. Um, and then I'll compare the transition here. 
this actually is one of my highlights which I really like like I can do this and no problem when I had a project on on the needles it, it had no there was no issue for me I didn't the like I'm doing this and there's still no problem there's no like hole dent whatever and this kind of a similar effect here they are in comparison obviously they're different sizes I don't like this because this could just pop off if I really tug at it it could pop off really easily or maybe not so easily because I haven't had that issue but I feel like if I wanted to it would do that in comparison to this I can tug at it and it, it it is really strong especially here when I move it like that um, and it does have a swivel effect, which is really great. So it allows for some movement while I'm moving my project. Um, and that swivel effect I've heard does not affect the tightness of the needle and this part together. Because I have to manually like force that to unlock. The swivel effect is more just on, I can't see where it is, but that, I don't know if you can actually tell, but that is just a really great feature. And I would have to use this to like unlock it because I screwed it on, not so tightly, but um, yeah, I don't know if any of you have used this. I'm sure you guys have had, but the ones that haven't, you would insert this into the hole that is in he here, shown right there. That helps to like tighten it or unlock it with much more ease without like hurting your fingers or without like damaging this. Not that it would, but it could. Okay, and then I said I was going to go over only the negatives, but I went positive and negative. So let's go to a negative. Um, I did not like, this is one of the reasons why I'm unfortunately not going to keep it, is that I don't like doing this. And that, you can feel it has like some grittiness to it. At the touch with your fingers, you don't feel that whatsoever at all at any point. But once the impact is made, the metal to metal, you feel it at any point from the tips to the base, uh, to the shaft or whatever it's called. Even even here, oh, it just like, it makes me wanna grind my teeth. I don't like that feeling. And that's essentially what you're doing in knitting is getting close and even just, I'm not even putting force, it's just like laying them on top and I feel the impurities just at any point. And so with knitting, sometimes you have to get in there tightly and you just feel that and I just feel like with time, it would like wear itself out by doing that. It's also, it does feel, does feel hollow. Maybe it's not, but I, my intuition is telling me that it is hollow based on how light it feels. Um, and I feel like with heat and wear and like the heat of your skin or the, the, the temperature, it could essentially have some like bend to it. Maybe not anything significant at all, but if I were to accidentally have something fall on it, like something heavy and metal, like uh, my MacBook falls on it, I feel like on a hot day it could dent or like a heavy ceramic thing or something like I accidentally like hit it against something or whatever. I feel like with time and heat it could dent and I don't really like that because I want to be able to transition uh, or move my work across unfortunately it's not something that I can get past because it's just like I don't look forward to that it also really smells like copper and my fingers smell like copper and I just got this so the smell was really strong um, and I'm usually not so bad with like smells. I can tolerate a lot of things, 
but this um just with more wear and and use the smell really comes out more and that's another reason why i just don't look forward to making projects and i hate to say that because this is such a beautiful brand the ethos of it the packaging the and i'm sure the team is phenomenal and i've heard great things but as for me and what my needs are as an individual it just doesn't work and i just this is too flimsy for me um, but I mean, the color, I want to keep it so bad because that's just my personality and it's just gorgeous. But I need different cords for myself. And, ooh, did something get on me? That was gross. Oops. Okay. Um, I also wanted to compare the crochet hooks by Susan Bates. Um, it's definitely heavier. And it's solid, it, it feels really solid. It does not feel, um, or maybe it's, there is some hollowness or it's mixed with things, but it, it doesn't feel as hollow as this. Um, yeah, and then when I do this, it's so smooth, like buttery. Maybe it sounds similar, but it, it feels like so smooth and effortless and so there is no coating on this i do want to i'm glad i remembered that i don't feel any coating like maybe there is a, some shine effect and polish but as far as like coating to prevent the smell or to prevent any like scratches and um wear and color like maybe the copper might turn darker or whatever there is no preventative like coating or layers that I can sense or feel. It does feel raw um, somewhat as opposed to this where it just feels like it's a layer on itself. It doesn't feel like I can take off that layer. It just feels like it's mixed in and there's something protective about it. But that is just beautiful. Um, those are the things that I can think of off of the top of my head. Uh, let's see. I mean, how gorgeous is that? That is so beautiful. I am going to try out their birchwood or driftwood, whatever it is that's available. Um, I really wanted to test it out at the shop here in San Francisco, but they don't allow that because it has because they don't have like a single one as a sample. Um, but hopefully I can exchange if anything or return and I really hate to say that because I was so excited about this especially with this brand and here are some of the specs and information I am curious about their warranty because I bought this at um, a shop that is not Lika like Alusha whatever so I wonder if it still applies to me even though I didn't buy it on their direct website um yeah and I do want to mention I think there's different sh um sizes this is a five inch and comparing it to standard bamboo I mean I'm sure you can see on the packaging for each thing like the size but here's just like if you're used to, if you're an advanced beginner like me, you might be used to the bamboo and this is what this is looking like. So I kind of like being able to have more on the needle itself, but maybe it might be more effective for me and more efficient to try something shorter. I'm not sure. It That wasn't too much of a problem for me. I kind of liked it. But I am so used to having something on there. I'm not sure. But yeah. I'm trying to find the swatch that I had. I can't find the swatch. Oh, here it is. Um, again, I hate to say anything bad about this company. But 
it's just like how it worked for me I didn't really have fun making this because like I said just doing this and getting in there I couldn't work so efficiently because I wanted to so much avoid um, rubbing these things together and it just made it not so fun and I wanted a little bit more of a tighter gauge it is like it looks normal but I wanted it just slightly a little bit more compact and I didn't really feel motivated or comfortable to do that because of what I was saying and it took me so much more time to make it because I was constantly avoiding that but as opposed to this I can just like it's so buttery so smooth I can literally just like I know I'm exaggerating it but it's just like easy to do that as opposed to this I just did not want to touch it hopefully you can I don't know if you can hear that at all but either way it also would scratch I feel over time and create streaks so yeah that's all I had to say <laughs>